Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a random vlog. It's Sunday and I figured I'd vlog today. Um, I actually already filmed a lot of the vlog, but I didn't really intro it because I started off my day with a workout and then I was getting ready because I filmed a haul of everything I got at the mall yesterday, which is going to be the video before this. You would already see it. So I figured as I'm getting ready, I might as well show you what I do to my hair because I do get some questions on my hair, which is kind of random because I feel like it doesn't even look that good. And then people say it looks good and I'm like, I don't think it looks that good. But I do have to say, I do have extensions or tape in extensions, which I do have a vlog on that on my channel. It's one of my first ones. So it's probably cringy to watch. But if you're interested about my extensions, you can look at that. They're tape in extensions and I go every two months to get them like put back up. So I feel like that really helps my hair be fuller at the end. They're the same length as my hair. They just make it fuller at the bottom because before I had really fried hair. I actually put a before photo here, but my hair looked like before extensions. But now I feel like I am able to style it a lot easier and less. So like if I style it once, it will last like all week. So I don't put as much heat as I was doing before. And yeah, so you'll see me after this. I'll show you how I'm gonna style my hair. Like I said, I wash it once a week because my hair is on the dryer side. So I'll show you how I style it after a shower. So I'll like put it up in the shower and I'm gonna dry it out. And I'll show you what appliances I use and what hair products I use. So in addition to that, I am also gonna show you some other stuff in this vlog, like how to make an acai bowl. And I'm gonna go grocery shopping and my workout. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Okay, so my hair is not done. I only wash it like once a week. So I worked out today, I put my hair back in the shower and now it just needs like a little fluffing up. I'm gonna like straighten some pieces and then curl some pieces, but I wanted to show you my station. So we keep our hair appliances in the drawer. I know it's kind of dirty because there's like hair everywhere, but I use this to dry my hair, which I'm gonna use right now to fluff it up. And then this is the straightener I use and it's so good. I actually just got it because I've been using a cheap Amazon one but my friend Ashley had this one that I was using when we went on vacation and I liked it so much. I like how big the plates are and it actually straightens my hair, so, which I've never, my other strainer never would able to actually pin straight my hair with all my extensions. And then this is the curler I use. It's super old from like middle school. It's just like a Infinity Pro Con Air. I think it's like a one, one and a quarter inch barrel. So yeah, I'll show you like me style my hair with this. All right, so I kind of just set you up on the shoe rack. The mirror is right here, so I'm going to be looking that way. But this also, I'm sure everyone knows to use a wet brush by now. It's just like better. It doesn't really damage your hair. So I'm just brushing it out, and then I'm going to just turn this on and just kind of like fluff up my hair with it. Looks like here um, I use the high heat and then I'm gonna go on cool and just like kind of go over my hair with the cool just one time okay so now that that's done I'm going to just straighten some pieces with this and then I'll curl I know it's a lot of heat but I have like a lot of baby hairs and I just need to be straightened like such good strainer see how big the plates are it works so well also sorry the lighting is really weird this is a den so there's no windows so the light right now is just from this mirror and it's probably not flattering from that angle but whatever okay now to curl my hair i just separate it into two sections which I don't even know why I do it, like it doesn't really make a difference, but I'm just gonna make sure this section is all brushed. And then I start from the back of my head. And you're supposed to curl away, so I clamp it here. I bring it all the way to the bottom, and then I twist it up here, and then just kind of go like this, like twist it around. You don't even need to hold it on for too long since it's pretty high heat. And then I go like this and just kind of flip it to the back and do the next one. Before 
I get, we're gonna do the other side. I'm just gonna give this side a quick hairspray. Which there's nothing special about this hairspray, but the other hair products that I'll show you later, um, I do really like those. I would definitely recommend those. Those are like my ride or die. This, it doesn't really matter what hairspray. Let's see, now for this side, we're gonna turn it the other way. So again, I clamp it and then turn it in here. I can't even really tell which way I'm turning it. I just know it ends up, I guess, being a different way. And I just like, think muscle memory now. But again, just start from the back and work your way to the front. And then usually I would do my hair and clip it back and then do my makeup, but obviously I already did my makeup. So now we are going to take my hair products that I use. These are like my ride or die ones. This is the Olaplex bonding oil. And this I got from my hairdresser, but I'm sure you can get it online. Uh, it's Inca oil. And I really like this. My hair gets super dry and this like soaks it right up. So I'm first gonna go in with the Argon oil and then I'll end it with the Olaplex. So I'll just kind of take this and run it through my hair. Definitely get like the baby hairs. And then get like the top with like the rest that's in your hands. Sorry, the lighting's probably really bad. Let's see, I can see better in here. So you're just kind of running it out and the curls will get looser. And now I'll just kind of like kind of go over it a little bit with my straightener just to like flatten it out so it's not like too crazy. And then I'll go in with the bonding oil around like the ends and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show you in better lighting after this, what it looks like. looking like I don't think my hair is anything special honestly I don't think I'm that great at doing it but people ask so I figured I would just show you at least the products I use because like I said I only wash my hair once a week and when I curl it like this it kind of just like lasts all week and just kind of stays like it like I'll just touch it up with the straightener for like my baby hairs but that's pretty much it so now I'm gonna film my haul because that's at the grocery store and I want to film that while he's not here <laughs> Okay, now that I'm done filming the haul, I just wanted to show you what products I use on my hair, which isn't that much. <laughs> it's just the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, number four and five. Again, I only wash my hair once a week, so this is only used once a week. And then um, I was having a really dry scalp from Hajimoto's, and so my dresser recommended I get a clarifying shampoo. So I got this shampoo to Clarifying Paul Mitchell shampoo. This is the one she recommended. So if I feel like my scalp's really dry and I'm flaking around a lot, then I'll use this shampoo instead. And I'll put on some like scalp revival from Riaggio on it too to help soothe it. But hopefully my scalp's been pretty good lately. Okay, right, it's about almost 12.30 right now and I'm gonna make an acai bowl for lunch just cause it's Sunday and I don't have food yet. I need to go grocery shopping. Yeah, I actually raved about my blender in my last vlog, but I wanted to show you that they have this bowl with it to make acai bowls, which makes it really easy. There's a line to do a, like where you fill it with liquid and then the max fill up top. So I'm actually first gonna fill it with a bunch of frozen bananas and put all my powders in. So I also wanted to try, I just got this first form vegan chocolate protein in, which if you get, saw my last vlog, I was using vanilla for my shakes and I was upset because ice oatmeal cookie was sold out. However, that is actually back in stock and I ordered the chocolate before that came back in stock because I needed a chocolate base or like a sweeter protein. And so yeah, that's gonna come in the mail and I'm gonna have three tubs of protein. But yeah, so we'll try this out today. So we keep our bananas, like this is a huge frozen bag, and we um, cut them up into like thirds so that they're able to fit in here easily when we freeze them. And I'm gonna throw some wild blueberries in here. And 
then I'm gonna throw a little bit of nut milk in here. I'm just gonna start off with a little bit because you can always add more, but you know, I want it to be nice and thick. So I'm just gonna do a little bit for now. So you could see here, this has a bowl setting and then you could just start it. And then what you're supposed to do is just twist this top counterclockwise as it's going. And that helps it spread out. Cause if you made bowls like this, you know, it's really hard to blend a lot of fruits and stuff together. So this helps it go out, you'll see. When I start it. Okay, so now that that's all blended up, I'm actually gonna add my powders now just cause I wanted to make more room for them. See, it's nice and it's thick in here, which is perfect. I might even add a little, like more, if there's room for it, I'll add another frozen banana, like piece of it. Okay, so we're gonna add a scoop of the protein. And then I'm gonna add some collagen, which I actually just forgot. Usually I would use the acai packets we have, but instead I just use a ton of bananas and blueberries. So we'll see how that tastes. It should be fine. And then I'm gonna add some PB2, which you can add just regular peanut butter, but I'm gonna add the powder because it's less fat. And then on top, I'm gonna put actual peanut butter on top. All right, so adding the powder is actually made it even a, a little bit more like creamier. I'm gonna add a little bit of I think one more little thing of banana and blueberries, and then our thing is ready to be put in a bowl. All right, so here is the finished product with banana, strawberry, blueberries, peanut butter, granola, and cacao nibs. You can see the banana makes it more creamier, so I think if you use an actual acai frozen packet, it would be less creamy or just add more ice. So the acai bowl was really good. I didn't taste the protein at all, like in a bad choppy way or anything. So yeah, now I actually just want to show you some stuff from Ali Yoga I got. It's just like a few things, not enough to do a whole haul or anything, but some good items that are good enough that I want to show you. So this set I'm not going to try on because it was actually, I already wore it to work out in an Instagram video. So if you want to see what it looks like on, you could see it in that. So I wasn't really planning on keeping this set, but once I got a spray tan and I put this on, it's just so cool. Like I definitely have nothing like this. Um, these are called their Vapor High Waist Zebra Leggings and they are definitely high waisted. Um, they're honestly like not the most functional. Like they definitely slip down. However, they're just really cool. And yeah, I just like felt really sick in these. Like, I just can't even explain to you, like when I was working out, these were just so cool. And then this is the matching top to it. I feel like if you wear it, you just obviously need to wear it as a set. So I got a size small in both and I would say shoot a size of that, which I actually think the leggings already sold out, which I was surprised. I thought it'd be more of like a unique piece that people might not grab, but I don't know, it was just a really cool set. <laughs> And then I got this wild thing bra in this bone color. It's a really pretty color and it's a really comfy bra and I feel like it's really flattering. It has removable cut pads. This is a size small, true to size. So I could try this on for you and show you this. And then I got this sports bra, which um, they came out with a bunch of lavender stuff. So I wanted to get something and I thought this bra was nice. It had a, just a one strap on, but I, Figured I would get the two strap on because it's just more functional, but it still looks like a one strap vibe, even though there's two. And this is what the back looks like, so I just think that'd be really cool to wear with black leggings. And it's actually pretty comfortable. There's no padding in this one though, and a size small as well. And then lastly, I got this zip up hoodie in a size small because I feel like you already know what I'm gonna say. It's like lavender do vibes. I actually did order the Lavender Dew Perfectly Oversized Hoodie from the Lemon. It's coming in the mail, but I feel like I might end up keeping this over that just because I like having the zip option. Like I have a lot of oversized hoodies already, but having an oversized zip hoodie option is just a game changer, you know? And I'll try this on for you as well, and you can see. So yeah, this sports bra is so cute. It even is just cute as like a crop top with jeans, I feel like. But it would also be cute with a lot of different leggings, especially with this color. And it's very, very comfortable and it's just a really flattering neckline and the way it cinches in. Um, yeah, I just feel like this would be flattering on most people. And this is what the back looks like over here. And here is what this hoodie looks like with this vibe going on. I like the neutral with the jeans, you know. 
And yeah, like this hoodie, like I said, it's just, you can wear it so many different ways, it being just a zip hoodie, because you can just wear it with jeans here, or you can wear it with sweats, or shorts, or leggings. And then here's what it looks like all the way zipped up. So definitely not, you know, flattering, but <laughs> this is not made to be flattering. It's just, I like how also it has a tight band, like a tighter-ish band. So if I turn around, you know, um, like I can just kind of hang it over my butt here. And yeah, I just really like this color. I just am living for all these purples. I don't know why. And you can see too, when I unzip it, that it does come like right to the end of my butt here. So it doesn't fully cover it, but I feel like that's the perfect amount of oversize. And this is the sleeve length right here. It comes like just to the ends of my fingers here. So yeah, if you were upset about missing out on the lavender scoop or the lavender two scuba hoodie, I feel like I like this as an option, you know? So I already have like so many scuba hoodies, so it's nice to have something different too. So it kind of all worked out and I feel okay about that whole situation that I missed out on the on the scuba hoodie when Lulu released it. I feel like some people might not even know what I'm talking about and they're probably gonna be confused, but only the Lulu fans will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, this bra is really cool. There's no padding. It does have seams that come up right here, um, but it doesn't bother me or anything. And I think that this is just a really pretty color, especially with tan. And we just, I think the black accent is cool and would look cool with black leggings. So if I'm like, you know, training or something in the summer, I feel like this would just be a really cute, bit stylish and yet really supportive top. Like that's what I like about this, that even though it's stylish, but also really supportive. And like it still is very open back there too. So yeah, a lot of times, you know, when something's supportive, it's like a lot of coverage, but I like how somehow this isn't too much coverage, but it's still very supportive. Okay, so that's it for now. Um, I actually am gonna go to Whole Foods soon because it's Sunday. I need to grocery shop and get everything for the week. So that's it for now. But before I show you that, <laughs> I'll actually play my workout from this morning just if you need motivation. I feel like when I watch people work out on YouTube, it just gives me motivation to work out even if I'm not doing their workout. So I guess next I'll see you at the gym. Okay, so I'm back from Whole Foods. I have everything laid out here that I got so I can show you what I got. I actually decided to switch up my meals this week because I'm someone that becomes a creature of habit, which you don't want to do if you're trying to keep your gut healthy. You want to you know, have diversity in your gut, but obviously the good stuff, not diversity as in like meat processed stuff. <laughs> kind of hard for me to always think of healthy meal ideas that are easy to make because I don't really like spending time, a lot of time in the kitchen. Anyways, I got ideas from this book on Amazon I got called Meals That Heal and it's all about gut health. I just kind of looked up like anti-inflammatory recipe books and this was one of them. I got two and I like this one better just because there's pictures so it's just more enticing. But yeah, I got some ideas from this book. I can link it down below for you. 
and one is a chicken fried quinoa, which is like a chicken fried rice with quinoa, a salmon over quinoa salad, and a Greek salad with chicken, which I've made Greek salads before, but I'm gonna follow more of the recipe in this book just so because mine wasn't as good. But I was doing it with salmon, and it would definitely be better with chicken because um, I get sick of salmon pretty quickly. <laughs> Let me show you what I Okay, so here's everything. I'll start over here. So I just got some berries. I feel like it's always good to have berries on hand. So I got strawberries and blueberries and berries you always want to get organic. I got these tomatoes to put in the Greek salad. And then for salads, I like mixing different types of lettuce. So I got butter lettuce and romaine. And then I got kale because that's supposed to go in the salmon over kale quinoa salad and scallions which will go in the stir fry and then obviously quinoa. And then I got garbanzo beans, so it'll go in the Greek salad. And I just like having these on hand to, to cook. And like, if I want to make a dessert, like I've been making these no bake brownies and these go in there. And then this bone broth is on sale and the actual bone broth is like never on sale. Usually the chicken sock is. And I actually want to start incorporating this more Cause I have tea a lot and it's actually, I feel like I'd rather sip on this than tea sometimes. It's good for your gut. I got a bunch of vinegars here cause sometimes I like to make my own dressing and these are good to have on hand. So I got red wine vinegar and white wine vinegar. And then I got grapeseed oil cause it's also good for dressings. Uh, coconut aminos, which I throw on a lot of stuff. And I love primal kitchen dressing. So I got this Greek one to try in the Greek salad. I got a bell pepper for the stir fry, um, some nut milk. It called for some grapes in the salmon over quinoa salad. So I got some red grapes. So I got some salmon fillets. You should be getting wild caught. So the cheaper kind at Whole Foods is the sockeye salmon. Sorry, the gross sink in the background, but the sockeye salmon is the one you want to get. There's one that's like the Atlantic filet, I believe it is, or something like that. And that one is so much more expensive. This would be $18 instead of eight. But yeah, I got that. And then I also got a bunch of chicken breasts and chicken tenders. And then the stir fry called for edamame. Um, it's supposed to be shelled, but they weren't at a shelled. So I got the shell one. So I'm gonna have to manually shell these, which is very ambitious of me, but I don't really have a choice. And then a cucumber for this Greek salads. And then for frozen stuff, I got blueberries. The wild blueberries are the ones to get and a berry blend, they're in smoothies. And then I have lemon water every morning, so I have a bowl of lemons. And then we always keep bananas on hand because I like to make pancakes with bananas and then obviously we freeze a ton of bananas. And then lastly, I haven't had eggs in like five years probably. So because they were making me bloated and it hurt my stomach a lot. However, I'm gonna try to introduce them back in to see because I haven't sh it didn't show up on any sensitivity tests which probably because I haven't been eating them, but so to start off, I got just, you know, non-GMO pasture-raised eggs. So I think I'll vlog tomorrow and see how I feel after eating eggs. All right, you gonna go for a walk, baby girly? Yeah? You can go outside? Yeah? <laughs> Okay, so since it's so nice out, we are gonna go for a walk and we're gonna get some more wine to stock up our wine collection. And on the way, Matt's gonna try to take a picture of me, which I'm kind of nervous about because I'm not really good at taking like the solo shots that influencers usually take on like, you know, when they're just like casually walking. I just feel really awkward. That's why on my Instagram, it's literally just like mirror selfies of me hiding my face, so. We'll see how that goes. You got your harness on? Let's see it. You're looking cute. Here we are, Paisley's leash free. Right, baby girl? You took some pictures of mommy? <laughs> Paisley, you're cute. We just got back from our walk. I think we got a good pick. It's really so hard like deciding what angle to do with the sun and everything. So you're not like having shadows on your face and stuff. And then not to mention that there's something about my smile that's so bad. Like it, I have the world's smallest mouth. Like I'm not being dramatic. Like it's when I go to the dentist, 
they comment on how small my mouth is and how hard it is to work inside my mouth, which is kind of why I have Invisalign to try and broaden it. But anyways, that's why some pictures come across so bad because it looks like I feel like I'm smiling so hard, but it just looks like I'm not smiling at all. It's like the most annoying thing. Anyways, we picked up some wine. So we got a lot of Kendall Jackson because I drink a lot of, well, not a lot, just like I like to have a glass or two of this on the weekends, the Chardonnay. And then Matt likes red wine. So if we're drinking wine together, we get red. And we just have been always trying different wines. We rarely ever get the same wine. So we just got like this cab of Dancing Crow, this one called Simply, which is only $9. And then this stick wine, which we've had before and is good. So this is where we keep our wine. And when it gets low, we stock it up. So we already had those two. And then there's more, there's another wine rack right here. So that's why we like to just keep it nice and stocked. And also on our walk, we stopped, um, I got sushi because Matt's gonna have sushi for dinner. I already had dinner prepped, but I did get just a cute little thing of sushi to snack on while I'm actually gonna edit the haul I just filmed today. So I wanna upload that tonight. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next. Just getting the sushi I got is, I love getting the salmon avocado and soy paper with white rice. It's so good. Okay, it's now six o'clock. I just finished editing my vlog. It's now exporting and I'm going to put it on YouTube. So I need to like put all the links together. And yeah, I looked at all the photos we took and there were two good ones. I'm going to upload those so you guys should like it so that it supports Matt and I. <laughs> and Paisley just finished her dinner and I'm going to have dinner soon since it's a little after six. But I think I'm just going to close out the vlog here. I think I might vlog tomorrow because I have off from work. So I might as well make the most of that time. So I guess I'll just see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.